Okay, so um, welcome everybody. My name is Cliff Wilming. You uh, know me from We Do the Work. Uh, we are here today with Joshua Strickland. Did I pronounce that right? That's right. Okay. Um, uh, as most of you folks know, I'm a registered nurse. I've worked ER and ICU for about 12 years and currently up in Minnesota. Um, Joshua, I know Joshua from the uh, Nurses with Cards Facebook page. Um, Joshua had a post there uh, last week, I believe, and um, is really facing some serious discipline action for, for it. Uh, and uh, we're going to talk to Josh right now. Um, Josh, how are you doing? I'm good. Uh, it's been a rough couple of days, but nonetheless, uh, all is well. Trying to keep my head up. Okay. So, you know, first of all, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, you're an RN. You know, what else do you got going on? Yeah. So, uh, I, uh, I've been a registered nurse for a year, uh, a little bit over a year now. Okay. Uh, and so anyways, I took a new position, uh, on a, an acute med psych floor, uh, here in Phoenix. I'm originally from Louisiana. I was born and raised in Louisiana, but, uh, I live in Phoenix. So I, uh, got my BSN because the VA had a special program, uh, that I went through and, they paid for my school and all that other good stuff because I was in the Army for a long time. So uh, anyways, nonetheless, uh, so I took this position, and uh, and it was, it was med psych, so it's not a straight lockdown psych unit. And uh, so we treat all the medical comorbidities uh, on, as well as the psychiatric uh, issues that they're dealing with, you know, schizophrenic, uh, schizoaffective, bipolar. Uh, things like that, but, you know, if they have CHF, if they have BPH, you know, things like that, we're also treating that in conjunction. And so, uh, anyways, my, uh, I, I created a Facebook post, and um, and so basically on my first day as I was rounding, uh, and I met my very first patient, uh, I went to do what they call a mental status exam, which is, you know, basic, your basic questions asking, you know, if they're you know, having any sort of suicidal ideations, you know, can they rate their depression and anxiety if they have any sort of homicidal ideations? And uh, the patient said no. Real, real basic mental health assessment. Yeah, basic mental health assessment, the mental status exam, exactly. Yeah. And uh, the patient said no, so I asked, well, is there anything else I can do for you? And the patient said, yeah. And I said, what's that? And the patient said, you can fuck off and die. I said, Yes, ma'am. I'll try my best. Uh, we'll continue to monitor. And, um, and you know, unfortunately, that's just... Just, you know, just out of curiosity, Joshua, um, I mean, anybody that is an RN knows yeah. that, you know, there's an ongoing level, uh, sometimes low, sometimes high, sometimes physically violent, of abuse that gets kind of thrown at the RNs. And I imagine in that kind of department, you probably experienced that. Pretty oh, regularly? Yeah. I mean, absolutely. Uh, you know, I, I can't really, I can't badmouth uh, the floor and uh, like the depart, like the sure. department that I was in because they were good folks. You know, they were hardworking folks and they ran a good tight ship. Uh, you know, but while I was there, because I was only there for a very short time, um, you know, there was a couple of fights you had to break up. You know, you had to, you know, uh, uh, you know, calm, de-escalate situations, you know, therapeutic holds, if you will, because, yeah. uh, you know, uh, you know, a lot of uh, B-52s, IMs, you know, uh, things like that, breaking up fights, you know, amongst the patients, you know, uh, staff does get assaulted uh, quite a bit, you know, things like that. It's very tense atmosphere. It's an, it's an intense times. place to work. It's hard work. It is. It's hard work. And, uh, but nonetheless, uh, so anyways, I was uh, going down an elevator. I was on break. I was going to get something to eat, and I took a selfie of myself uh, that said, uh, you know, oh, you know, uh, first day at the new job going great. The patient told me to fuck off and die. We'll continue to monitor. And, uh, I, but I had, I had blurred out my barcode scanners on my badge. Mm. Um, but I guess if you zoomed in close enough, and you blew up the picture, you could see where it said the medical facility that I worked at. And so, you know, I wasn't being derogatory towards the medical facility or anything like that. And, um, you know, or, you know, given any sort of patient identifiers, uh, any sort of HIPAA violation whatsoever. 
and uh, and it went viral. <laughs> so it uh, it it uh, it got like over five thousand or six thousand people that were laughing at it, saying, "Oh, you know, welcome to Psych." You know, uh, yeah, normal day. You know, oh, I call that a Tuesday. You know, or you know, everybody loved it. Everybody loved it. And uh, there were a couple people uh, that didn't really. Uh, appreciate it too much, I guess, you know, but they were so outweighed by the vast majority that, um, you know, I didn't really see anything, you know, and, uh, well, so it, then, it, it likely uh, it hits home to all kinds of registered nurses. So I imagine yeah. it, it's an experience everybody shares. I know I've had my share of it too. And, yeah. you know, the way you tend to get through a lot of that stress and strain is you commiserate with your fellow RNs and you say, man, that was kind of crappy or whatever. You try to maintain a good outlook on stuff and you move on. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, after every, I mean, at least if you're working in a good ED, uh, you know, after every, you know, major trauma or every major code, you know, uh, debriefings, you right. know, uh, having a debriefing and then, you know, uh, trying to, uh, you know, talk, you know, make, you know, not necessarily make light of the situation, but try to grasp the reality of what just happened you know people do that in all kinds of different ways and some people it's humor some people they cry i mean it's just you know different and so you know uh what helps get me through uh some crazy times with some of these patients is i kind of try to make a little light of the situation you know sure. and, uh, after you know debriefing or whatever and so uh anyway so nonetheless uh <clears throat> so i get i go to work the next day um Around 11.30-ish, you know, uh, I just got done doing a lot of charting and all that other stuff. And uh, I get a, I get a uh, call from the CNO, the chief nurse officer, um, telling me to report to HR. And I'm like, oh, you know, like obviously every time somebody gets told to report to HR, they're like, oh, man, what the hell? You, you know, something's so, coming down. Exactly. And so, uh, <laughs> so I go up to HR. And, uh, and I'm sitting there with HR and the CNO, and they ask me, Josh, uh, do you know anything about nurses with cards? Huh. <laughs> I was like, what? And, I, uh, and they said, yeah, do you know anything about nurses with cards? I said, yeah. I said, it's a Facebook group. And they said, did you post anything to nurses with cards? And I said, yeah. I said, I, I mean, I, you know, I don't have a reason to lie. You know, I was in, I was in the army for a long time. I have integrity. You know, I, I I say it how it is. I say, yeah. I said I posted this. As a matter of fact, I'll show you what I posted. You know, and uh, and so they said that uh, that somebody from Massachusetts had taken a screenshot and blown it up and shown hmm. the location uh, <coughs> where it showed on my badge what facility that I worked at. Uh, recognized that it was a, a steward hospital and oh. uh, <clears throat> and so then they um now now just for clarification josh uh you were at st luke's and st luke's is owned by steward Healthcare system yeah I'm, yes I, I live in arizona now so right. a lot of folks they see louisiana on my stuff but i actually live in phoenix arizona yeah and, and work there but, yeah, but steward yeah. Healthcare system and i looked into them and they are no small uh, endeavor. I mean, they, they own hospitals in multiple States, big money they behind have, them. Uh, this they, have is, a, uh, they have a flagship hospital in Malta off the coast of Greece. Oh, wow. So yeah, this is no like mom and pop operation, no like little no. community hospital or anything like that. No, so, this would be like, uh, like Kaiser or, right. or something like that. You know, Ka Kaiser was the last place I worked by the way. Yeah. So yeah. this would be like, this it, would be like on a scale of like that. Yeah. You know, it's like a, the Titanic or whatever. Yeah, exactly. So, so you got this, uh, notification, you're in HR, they started talking about nurse nurses with cards. Um, what happened then? So then, uh, so I was, you know, I was just baffled, you know, I was, uh, I, I couldn't believe it to be quite honest. And I was like, okay, um, what, uh, you know, so what's, you know, what's the, what's the problem? I said, I didn't, I wasn't talking bad about the hospital. I didn't, uh, disclose any sort of patient information. You know, you would have never been able to tell what patient told me that, you know, nothing. And, uh, and they said, because somebody from Massachusetts had taken a screenshot and blown it up and sent it not to St. Luke's itself. Well, they sent a copy to St. Luke's, but they sent it primarily to the VP of Steward Corporation. 
Huh. They sent it like like they didn't just go like to the top of the flagpole. They went to the upper upper echelons that made the flagpole of that corporation. The serious high end brass of this. Yeah, they they went to the to the who's who of the entire hospital corporation. Do we the do we know that vice president's name by any chance? I have no idea, nor do I want to know. Okay, <laughs> we'll figure that stuff out. Yeah, and so. Uh, so they screenshot it, and there's me and my picture, you know, and all this other stuff. And uh, and so I guess it really, really made them upset that uh, they could see the St. Luke's logo or the Stewart logo in their background. And so, so they told me that you know they got to discuss what they need to discuss, and they'll make a, a a recommendation. So they wanted me to go back to the floor, continue patient care, da 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 da. And I was like, well. Shit, I said, okay, I mean, it's not the patient's fault, you know, uh, you know, they still deserve a nurse, you know, so I'm obviously going to uh, go and do what I need to do with, you know, my patients sure. until I get uh, a resolution. So, um, so then around, so then around like about five minutes after that, they come down, the CNO and the HR director, oh. and they tell me, because I was standing up, they said, Josh, sit down, relax, you're not fired. We've decided that we're going to keep you on board because, you know, we've had nothing but compliments about your patient care, your bedside manner, the fact that I have a lot of medical experience coming into a more psych oriented unit where that kind of lacks a little bit sometimes, uh, you know, depending on, you know, the floors and things like that. Now, before that gets misquoted, I'm not <laughs> saying psych RNs are not competent in medical. <laughs> no. They just have... They just have a they have a completely different set of skills. It's a uh, specialization. A, a completely different set of skills that they use in conjunction with being a basic nurse. Right. You know, I had never been a psych nurse before. You know, and so uh, and so, anyways. Uh, so yes, I love psych nurses. So I'm not saying that. So don't get me misquoted. Um, so, but so you know, they came down to me. I'm not fired. You know, they make me sign a piece of paper that is a written warning. And that piece of paper, as a matter of fact, is right here. And so uh, it states, documentation of facts. Josh posted on Nurses with Cards Facebook page regarding something a patient said and posted a picture of himself. In this picture, it showed his badge. Therefore, it was known where he worked. All right. And so they said, consider it a lesson learned. No harm, no foul. You're good to go. Have a good rest of your shift. Da, da, da. Don't do it again. Don't do it again. Right. I said, yes, ma'am. I said, I understand. I take responsibility. You know, I apologize. It won't happen again. You know, and uh, and so then around, uh, like, it was like 3.55. It was like right at 4, pretty much. It was like right before 4. They called me back up to HR, and uh, and I was like, oh, man, what's, what's going on now? So uh, I go back up to HR, and I said, Josh – we let corporate know our recommendation to keep you and just give you a warning and, you know, things like that, but they overrode our decision. Wow. And so therefore we're going to have to terminate you. What was and that I said, like? What? And I said, I said, what? I said, so y'all call me down here and tell me I'm not fired and give me a written warning and tell me not to worry about it and everything's fine. And then after I'm done with the entire day, pretty much done charting on everybody. Everybody's taken hmm. care of. Right. You know, ready to hand off. So you, so you don't have to call registry or staffing or whatever the case, you know, y'all going to tell me at four o'clock, you know, when there's three hours <laughs> left. <laughs> <of> the <shift. sighs> and so they said, you know, we're really sorry. This wasn't our choice. I hope you understand, you know, we're not labeling you ineligible for rehire. So if you want to rehire, uh, reapply within a year, you're more than welcome to because we've got nothing but compliments on you. This we want you to understand that this was well above our heads. And wow. I said, I said, I said this. You know, pardon my French. I said this is bullshit. I said, you know, I, I said I didn't defame this hospital. I didn't give any sort of patient identifiers, discuss patient care, discuss diagnoses, discuss anything. There was no HIPAA violation to this whatsoever. I, I saw the post, and, and it does not provide any patient identifiers. It doesn't provide – I mean it, it has nothing to do with the patient 
medical records or anything like that. It's, Absolutely. It's more like just regular venting that you would see from any RN in any situation. Absolutely. Um, yeah. Well, so that's, I mean, that's, I can't say I've ever heard of anything like that, uh, you know, in 12 years of nursing and, and, you know, because not only were you, you weren't just dealing with your little local manager, but you were also dealing with the HR in your hospital. So you were already at the administrative level within your well, own my, hospital. My manager, my manager didn't, I, I never even saw my manager during that whole entire process. Right. I went, it went straight to HR. So you were already dealing with, with, you know, the hospital administration, you know, which is in the hospital, you can't get any higher than that. So the administrators had already determined um, that this was, you know, it wasn't something they were happy about, something they wanted, didn't want to happen again. But l let me ask you this. Have, have you ever been written up for anything like this before? I, no, because I was still in my probationary period uh, huh. at the hospital. So I was, I'm st I was a brand new hire. I've been there. I, my effective hiring date was like, August 4th. Oh, you know? wow. Yeah. But, but no problems like this. It sounds like you've gotten a whole lot of compliments from patients, uh, oh, that yeah, you've got yeah, a good no, work I, history I, there. No, good, I, good standing with the, with the manager and, uh, coworkers no, and that sort of thing. No, I was too new. I was mm. too new to have a problem. You know, uh, you know, the, uh, the floor nurses, the, uh, the aides, the behavioral health techs, all those folks, they were all great folks, you know? So, uh, I don't, I don't, I don't have any sort of, uh, uh, resentment or anger or anything towards any of them whatsoever. I mean, because they, they, they put up with a lot, you know, and, um, and they're, they're all great people. You know, everybody that, that worked on that floor, I didn't have one problem with anybody on that floor. So it wasn't, it wasn't my, my, my colleagues, my peers, no. if you will, at all. And, and to be quite honest, it wasn't even my nurse manager because my nurse manager, the entire time, she wasn't even involved in this whole HR thing. It happened so fast that basically the post, uh, it got over 6,000 something likes like within three hours. Right. And so, and so, uh, <laughs> yeah. And so, uh, so some, like I said, you know, I'm all the way out here in Arizona. Somebody all the way from up there, deep in the backwoods of Massachusetts or wherever, you know. But they, the HR did tell me that it was somebody from Massachusetts. Huh. So that's why, you know. And I'm like, I don't know anybody from Massachusetts, you know. And uh, and uh, and so they screenshot it, sent it, and then showed me the screenshot where they had it. They had it huge, like blown up, like you would. Uh, like a picture that you're putting on your wall or something. You know, ju just out of curiosity, just so you know, um, Stewart Healthcare System is based in Boston, Massachusetts. I don't, they know what, that, I don't know. Right. <laughs> Nor do I. So, and, and, you know, and maybe someone sent it right down the street. Right. Well, you know, there was, <laughs> there was a lot of speculation and, and, you know, for one, I, I just want to clarify the, to the people that are listening or watching uh, Nurses with Cards is a Facebook page that was started by an RN after um, the senator from Washington suggested that the nurses in rural hospitals are so bored and lazy that they're probably just sitting around playing card games. Um, it was an argument against uh, staffing ratio laws. And, you know, nurses, we're, we can be pretty tight and we care about what we do. And this nurse started a Facebook page called Nurses with Cards, which shows to some extent our uh, common use of sarcasm. Um, but the Facebook page has over 270,000 people on it. And I, and I just got off the phone with her. And, and what, what is her name again? Her name's Kelly England. She just called me right before you called. Kelly England. So for one, um, you know, we want to give a shout out to Kelly England for taking the initiative on that stuff. And it's a heck of a place to manage a lot of strong personalities on that Facebook page. Um, but you know, there was some speculation that this may have been, you know, another RN that turned you in. Uh, but you know, to me, I feel like hospital admin might have some, um, they might be monitoring that page as well. I, I, I agree. You know, and for one, uh, that's news to me is, uh, I thought for some reason, cause I remember whenever they first introduced us, uh, to the facility that their like flagship headquarters was in, uh, Dallas. Huh. 
So I don't know. But nonetheless, yeah. it's irrelevant. It's kind of speculation. So, yeah. So wherever they're at in the world, they got notified. But um, anyways, uh, back to what I was saying is, is so then, yeah. So like on, on this Facebook post and, you know, and then, you know, the blowback from all that stuff. You know, everybody says, well, you know, your Facebook is public. You know, it shows where you work, you know, uh, things like that. And, you know, and I understand that, you know, and I get that. You know, I'm not I'm not uh, an idiot. You know, I'm not, you know, uh, some 19 year old new grad that thinks they know uh, everything because they saw it in nursing school. You know, I was in the army for 10 and a half years. You know, I, I know you know, a thing or two about life. I have a family, I have kids, you know, a wife, the whole nine yards. I, I understand that you're a veteran and, and how many kids do you have, Joshua? I have four. Four kids. Okay. So it's yeah. not your first trip around the block. No, no. You know, I'm not, you know, I've, you know, I've, 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 I've lived a little bit, you know, and, uh, but anyways, the reason I have a public Facebook is because I'm a singer in a band, you know, and, and what's, what's the name of the band? It's called the Bayou Bandits. Nice. Yeah, and so, uh, you know, I brought a little bit of Louisiana with me when I moved out here to Arizona. But anyways, um, you know, uh, so everything I post is public knowledge, you know, because we play everywhere. We played Louisiana, obviously. We played Mexico. We played Vegas. We played Arizona. We play everywhere. You know, we, we had a song on the radio. You know, I was on Comedy Central, you know, different magazines, things like that. So I live a pretty, you know, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of an open or public life, really. Like a public life, yeah. You know, I mean, our band's really well known throughout the the, the West Coast region. You know, we've been really <laughs> blessed, thank the Lord. But at the same time, you know, apart from that, I'm also a registered nurse with a BSN. Right. You know, and I, and I worked hard for it, and I'm proud of that. You know, and the fact that I that I put where I work on my profile is not because I want the whole well, I didn't really care if the whole world knew where I worked. The fact that I was proud to work there. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Right. I don't think, I don't think, I, I, it don't, it don't make me know, never mind, to, for people to, to hide where they work or hide this or hide that. I don't care. That's not my business. But me, I was proud to be a St. Luke's employee. You know, I, I, I had no problem with everybody knowing that I was an RN. Matter of fact, I was published in two two big magazines. Well, actually, three big magazines out here: uh, the Entertainer, uh, the National Veterans Magazine, and uh, another News Times, uh, like for Pure, I think. And those magazines all circulated around the hospital. You know, so guess what? Now I'm not just an RN on the floor. Now everybody knows, you know, a little bit about my personal life. I'm also a singer in this band. You know, hey, this guy in this magazine looks just like you. You know, oh. You know, so I live pretty transparently, you know, and, um, you know, but that don't make me a dumbass. That's the thing is that is that people people were saying, oh, well, you should have never had your uh, place of employment listed. Well, I also didn't say anything derogatory enough to get me fired either. You know, right. But or, <clears throat> if you did a Google search for the CEO of any major industry, you would be able to find out where they work. It's not like. It's public knowledge. So the standard that's that you're being held to seems a little different than what would be, you know, common for any major hospital administrator. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it sounds like you were proud to work there. And why would you? Why would you hide where you work? It just to yeah. me that, yeah, that's that's not where you're coming from. And you're, you're not trying yeah. to shame the hospital or make a statement about poor care or the patient population or anything like that. So yeah, naturally. If you've got nothing to hide with it, there's no point in it. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, like, you know, in one of those magazines, because there was then I, there was a follow up picture of me holding two magazines saying, hey, you know, whoever reported this and sent to my manager, y'all can kiss. Here's my smiling face. Y'all can kiss my ass, you know, uh, whatever the case. Anyway, um, you know, in one of those magazines, I was quoted by, by a producer out here. Uh, you know, I'm I'm not. Uh, I'm not necessarily just a nurse. I'm a singer who happens to be a nurse. So all of my stuff is is really primarily open and transparent because of our band. You sure. Know? And and you know uh, I worked hard to get a bachelor's in, in a BSN, a bachelor's in science nursing. You know, um, you know it wasn't easy for me. I wasn't 
you know, I, I had to work hard. I had kids, you know, uh, uh, all going through that school. And Anybody that goes through nur- nursing school knows what that's like. Yeah, yeah, you know, and, and you know, I'm a smart guy, but, you know, I'm, I'm not some prodigy. You know, I had to sit here for hours and read books, you know, and things like that. So I'm, I, I worked hard. And you know what? I have absolutely no problem showcasing the fact that I am an RN. You know what? I'm proud of our profession. You well, know, and I think it's one of the most honorable ones. But at the same time, you know, I'm also a singer. You know, so that's why I'm so transparent. Well, I, I think most people, according to any national survey about reputation, most people in the nation would agree that nursing is always <laughs> the number one most respected profession. So, um, you know, beyond like maybe the kind of snipey kind of criticism you might have for making a Facebook post, um, yeah. like up on that page, the response has been almost unanimously supportive. Would you say? I mean, what uh, what kind of response are you getting from your you know your coworkers and the other nurses? Like you know, on the Facebook page, kind of around the the whole issue. Yeah, no, it's uh, the response has been overwhelming. I mean. Uh, I've even had people from St. Luke's send me messages talking about, uh, you know, how how the companies ran this and the companies ran that, you know, and things like that. And I don't know how the companies ran. You know, I'm not a big chief, you know. Right. Um, you know, I mean, it's like a nurse on any floor. There's so many things that, you know, we as individuals think that we can implement change on, you know, from, uh, you know, the way reporting is done. Uh, to, you know, anything, you know, uh, nursing handoffs, I don't know anything. And, um, and so, but yeah, it's been, it's been overwhelming. I mean, because, you know, you, you have to think of it this way. It's, it's due to something like that, you know, which, you know, I, I accept responsibility. I'm the one that posted it, you know, I, I, I'm not, you know, nobody else posted it other than me, you know, um, but due to that, now that 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 is a direct uh, slap in the face of of my family, you know, because I'm a provider, I'm a man, you know, I'm you know, I, I'm a father. I gotta, you know, I gotta feed kids. I gotta now. I gotta figure out benefit situations, you know. I, I it, it doesn't just it doesn't it's not just oh we're just gonna get Joshua Strickland, you know. Oh, you know, we're just gonna you know do malice to him, you know. Now, uh, I got to bust my ass to go find another job, you know, so I can support my kids friggin' when they want to sign up for soccer, you know? Um, and you know, well then people, then, then I got people saying, well, we see how popular your band is on social media and on Google and all this other stuff. Yeah. You know what? It don't matter how much money I make as a singer. You know, the fact of the matter is being a singer you know, I can make $10,000 this month, but that doesn't come with health benefits. You know, that doesn't come with dental. That doesn't come with, you know, uh, vision. That doesn't come with, sure. uh, you get what I'm saying? Well, you know, and, that and just because they treat a singer like this doesn't mean they won't treat other RNs, MAs, CNAs the same way. Oh, dude. I mean, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it's you know, the 99 99.99% of the people that have uh, written in response uh, to the situation have all been wonderful, wonderful, wonderful people. And, uh, you know, it's, it's actually a little bit overwhelming when you think about it, how, how the ones that have stuck together, like how strong and stuck together they are. You know, I mean, they are just in complete unison, you know, co- cohesion with one another to the point that, Everybody got so upset. They went to St. Luke's Facebook and started a trending hashtag. That what, that what was the hashtag? Like, the hashtag was hire Josh. Right on. And uh, and they were just just voicing their uh, disdain for them due to the situation that uh, St. Luke's actually had to take down their Facebook immediately. <laughs> oh, wow. And uh, and then they wound up they wound up rebooting it, but they had to delete like all the posts that everybody was on and, and, um, all this other stuff because, um, you know, this response has gotten like now almost like 10,000 people, um, uh, in, involved in it. And, um, you know, and then, you know, 
and you know, so everybody was wonderful. I mean, you know, you had folks saying, "Oh, well, let's make a GoFundMe account. Let's make this for him." You know, da da da. You know, and I don't like taking handouts. Sure. Uh, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not in that business for that. You know. Well, well, uh, let me um, let me say this, and then uh, ask you a couple things here. We're going to kind of wrap up because we're right at about thirty minutes here. Um, oh, you know, I know it goes quick. Um, you know, I just want to point out that uh, I've got St. Louis's admin's phone number here and that is uh 602-251-8156 and i'd be uh perfectly happy advising people to give them a call uh put in a plug for josh uh, obviously for folks uh in the phoenix area you know looking for a very solid rn and individual um you know we want to put a plug in for that as well and then steward healthcare systems i'll give you the phone number here is 617 617- Four one nine four seven zero zero, and they're about uh, they're about as big as the Death Star um, yeah. in terms of the hospital administration and ownership. Um, but uh, you know, just kind of wrapping it up, I you know I, I wanted to clarify this is this is also a non union hospital, is that right? Yeah, yeah. And, well, and Arizona is a right to work state. Too. It's a right to work state, and I've worked union and non union, but. You know, with with unions, you've got progressive punishment that like they've got to follow a pattern and stuff can't drop out of the sky. Um, So, you know, that that's one kind of protection. But, you know, a lot of the hospitals don't have that availability. And it sounds like St. Luke's uh, doesn't. But, um, you know, I want to add for one, I want to thank you for We Do the Work for for coming on. And, uh, you know, also, too, you know, do you want to do any kind of shout outs to any of your coworkers or anybody else to um, say what's up and, uh, you know, give them some props? Yeah, I mean, um, just everybody, you know, uh, everybody that's kind of chimed in. And, you know, like I said, I've received over a thousand messages in the last 24 hours, you know, from all the uh, nurses around the country, around the world. You know, nurses with cards, uh, insensitive nurses group, um, you know, co-workers, you know, um, you know, and uh, just uh, let it be a lesson learned, you know, don't post things on Facebook. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, thanks again, Josh. We'll be in touch. We might be doing some follow-up interviews with you. Uh, you know, maybe we'll generate a national news story out of this and, uh, you know, find awesome. some power for those real... F- frontline healthcare workers just like yourself. Hey, thanks so much. Have a good day. Okay, thanks everybody from We Do Work and uh, Joshua here in Phoenix, Arizona.